Are we seeing the end of the electric car revolution? I have two articles to look at with you today, one from the UK and one from the USA. So firstly, Auto Trader says electric car demand is waning and Wyoming are saying no to electric cars. So this is an article titled UK electric car demand waning says Auto Trader. Auto Trader is the big online car sales platform. And James Fosdyke says Auto Trader has claimed demand for electric vehicles is waning as a result of the cost of living crisis. Going to get onto this in another video that I'm doing today as well. Company says the number of people searching for EVs on the website has fallen since the summer as fuel prices have come down and energy prices have gone up. It's pretty obvious though, isn't it really? According to a company report, electric vehicles represented more than a quarter, 27% of all new car inquiries being sent to retailers through Auto Trader in June last year, uh, when petrol prices hit £2 a litre. Again, like it's not rocket science, is it? Petrol goes up, more people think, oh, an electric car will be cheaper. Total false economy, as you'll see in my Fiat 500 video. Um, however, in November last year, when fuel prices were falling and energy prices going up, EVs accounted for 19%. So basically, we lost 10% of the inquiries going to dealers um, because of the fluctuations in the price of fuel and the price of electricity. It's not rocket science. As demand softens, the number of used EVs, this is interesting, uh, has been on the up as previous year's new cars enter the second-hand market. Auto Trader reckons stock levels have almost doubled. Yeah, well, they would do because more people have been buying EVs and they buy them on lease deals. And as those lease deals come to an end, those cars come into the open market. Um, so doubled from 10,500 at the start of 2021 to 20,600 in the start of 2022. Uh, that increase has coincided with a dip in demand, meaning supply has overtaken demand of used EVs for the first time. So there's more used EVs on the market than they are selling. Have you noticed? Um, I wonder if it's just the algorithm. Am I being presented stories about the fact that EVs are on a, on a downward slide because that's what my social media knows that I like? Or is this actually happening? What do you think? The report also laid bare the barriers to EV uptake, including a lack of choice and affordability. Used petrol and diesel cars under 30 grand outnumber electric vehicles by five to one. But again, they would do because electric vehicles are fairly new. Uh, company says used electric car still costs £10,000 more than an equivalent petrol or diesel. I've done a video on the Fiat 500 where I compare the electric and the petrol and their running costs over three years. So after you've watched this one, go and watch that one because that's interesting. Auto Trader says these statistics have caused the company to change its forecast for when EVs will account for half of new car sales. So they're saying the point that EVs will make up 50% of car sales, they had said it was going to be 2026 and now they're saying it's going to be 2027. I can't see that. I really can't. The amount of materials that it takes to build these electric cars, they're not really out there. Um, so again, the conspiracy theorists would say it's more about getting you out of your car than it is about getting you into an EV. But that's the tinfoil hat stuff and I'm not wearing my tinfoil hat today. Although current sales figures look positive, the rapid decline in consumer appetite for EVs reveals the market is on thin ice where mass electric adoption is concerned, said Erin Baker, the editorial director of Auto Trader. And with the forecast of new car electric sales reaching 50% being pushed back to 2027, as we just said, the market faces a precarious combination of factors which could cause major potholes on the road for 2030, the road to 2030, without further action from government and industry to encourage mass adoption. Hang on, let's read that again. We forecasted that new electric car sales would reach 50% of all cars by 2027, but this now isn't going to happen. So what we need is we need the government and industry to encourage everybody to get into electric cars. That's, a, that's quite a scary sentence. Please don't call on the government to bring in legislation to move us over to electric cars. We don't need that. We don't want electric cars. It is as simple as that. You can change the tax bans, you can change the incentives, you can do whatever. We just don't want them. And I'll highlight why in my Fiat 500 video. There are some positive signs with running costs still in EV's favour. I would question that. And more affordable models in the pipeline, particularly those from Asia. Good point. 
But today's slowdown in demand for EVs will translate into lower sales as we enter 2023. So there's more EVs on the market and there's less people who actually want to buy them. And that got me thinking, what is the cheapest EV? And then obviously that led me on to what is the most expensive EV? And you're going to love this because this is ridiculous. The most expensive fully electric car isn't even an electric car. It's an electric van. It's the Mercedes-Benz EQV, right? So this is a big posh van with comfy seats. Um, and it's £179,000. That's ridiculous. Not only that, but the battery range is only 211 miles. And if you charge it on a three-pin charger at your house... It's going to take 55 hours to get 211 miles. And I'm also fairly confident that people are saying that they're not getting anywhere near 211 miles with these Mercedes vans. Um, 180 grand. That's like, not only is that house money and supercar money, it's just ludicrous. The cheapest is the Fiat 500 BEV at £25,645. So the cheapest new EV is still 25 grand. Again, go and watch my Fiat 500 video. Right. So that's that. Um, EV supply is beginning to outstrip demand. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you think EVs are slightly in decline. Are people less interested than they used to be? Or is that just the algorithm telling me the things that I want to hear because I live in a social media echo chamber? I don't know. The next thing is something that a follower sent to me about what's going on in Wyoming in the United States of Americana. This is a bill that has been put forward. Whereas the proliferation of electric vehicles at the expense of gas-powered vehicles will have deleterious impacts on Wyoming's communities and will be detrimental to Wyoming's economy and the ability for the country to efficiently engage in commerce and phasing out the new the sale of new electric vehicles in Wyoming by 2035 will ensure the stability of Wyoming's oil and gas industry and will help preserve the country's critical minerals for vital purposes. That's an interesting couple of sentences, isn't it? So what they're saying is electric vehicles are impacting petrol powered cars and having negative impacts on Wyoming's communities. This seems pretty sensible. I know that we need to do something about pollution. I know we need to do something about noxious fumes, but if you live in Wyoming, which I think I'm right in saying is one of these big states that's got a whole lot of nothing, and you've got to drive like eight hours from one nothing to the next nothing, the last thing you want is an electric car. The legislature, encourages and expresses as a goal that the sale of new electric vehicles in the state of Wyoming be phased out by 2035. So that they, they want to stop selling electric cars completely. Uh, the legislature encourages Wyoming's industries and citizens to limit the sale and purchase of new electric vehicles in Wyoming with the goal of phasing. It's a bit repetitive with the goal of phasing it out. Um, that the Secretary of State of Wyoming transmit copies of this resolution to the the pot user, the president of the United States, uh, with each member of Wyoming's congressional delegation, the president of the U.S. Senate and speaker of the United States House of Representatives and the governor of Wyoming and the governor of California. So this really is quite a big deal. That is a, uh, is a state in America turning around and saying, yeah, I, I see where you're all going with the EV thing. Um, I'm sorry. It's not for us. It doesn't work for us doesn't work for our people, doesn't work for our industries, we're not interested and we don't want it. So what do you think? Um, that, that, that I think is fascinating. Uh, I love the fact that Wyoming are, you know, maybe, maybe they're defending the petrochemical oil and gas industry, but I think what we're starting to see is people just don't want them. Or I'm in an echo chamber. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, sorry if my voice is a bit off today. I actually made myself ill yesterday by driving an Alfa Romeo to London, spending far too long out in the cold in London. Well, 
it's Christmassy. And then spending far too cold, far too long in a freezing cold pub waiting for my car to go on my insurance. Uh, because all the while I was thinking, no worries, at any point I'll be able to jump back in the Mondeo and drive home with the heaters on. Turns out the Mondeo needs a thermostat and it doesn't have any heating. So that was basically all of yesterday from midday to eight o'clock being freezing cold and I made myself ill. So let me know in the comments what you think of the video and uh, right now I'm going to record the Fiat 500 cost comparison because that's eye opening as well. Cheers for watching.